Hi everyone, Frederick here, Simple System Trading. Uh, today's video is on color bar based on alert condition. If you click show description, you will launch a, a little uh, web browser page here. You can read all about it here. Uh, I will do a little uh, case study on a question I got from one of my clients um, who got the ebook and um, wants to see something based on the CCI. So I'm going to add CCI to the chart here and see what it looks like. This is all default settings, so I'm not going to change anything there. Uh, that's your job to uh, find out what you like. Um, I'll show you how to use the color bar based on alert condition. Uh, if you want to show arrows on your chart, right? Um, so let's get into it. This uh, study here has a few subgraphs. The CCI, it's the green bar, and two lines. And we're going to use that. You can change these settings. You can change the line values. So if you do that, the alert conditions will still work. So you're going to use color bar based on alert condition right here. First thing you want to do is always name it. Uh, that way you can know what's what when you use a lot of these studies. So we call this uh, extreme high, right? Um, we're going to define alert condition. In this case, the first one we're going to use is that the uh, CCI is greater than that yellow line. Right, just checked out the subgraphs, CCI is SG1 and the yellow line is SG3. And ID1 is the study itself. When that condition is true, you want to have an arrow up. So we're going to look for that arrow up here. You want to color it. Maybe you want to make it a little bit thicker. And now we want to say, okay, what do you want to place that arrow? It has to be a price value, right? So you need to have changed the output when condition true to input data. What's input data? Input data is um, basically a subgraph based on, in this case, the main price graph, right? Very easy. Uh, input data right here is the input data entry. In this case, we want to use the low. So the low of the bar. We also want to use a little offset. So number of ticks offset and we use minus four ticks offset. So with these settings and this subgraph draw style, we will see that when this is true, there will be an arrow pointing up, which is blue, uh, four ticks below the bar where the alert condition is true. And you see it happen right here. You see there's an arrow there, arrow there, etc. Whenever their CCI is above that line, you will get that arrow. And you can do the same thing from for the arrow down. You can do another thing, just you know, change the alert condition a bit. Because you can also not um, you can also base it on, on, on a simple condition called cross from below. So if cross from below CCI with that yellow line, let's see if I've spelled it right, yeah, you will get less bars. You only get the bar where the cross happens, right? So that's way you can uh, change your alert conditions and um, make it do something you really like. Um, if you want to have a look at uh, where you can find details on that alert condition, you should get my ebook. Uh, there's a lot of links in there, and this topic is also discussed. Uh, you can get the ebook um, with the um, short URL. I punch it here in in the in the screen, um, uh, or straight through my uh, homepage. There's a button to get it. All right. Um, so that's the upside. Let's do the same thing for the downside. So the CCI extreme at the low, we're going to change the input to a positive offset 
at a high, right? We're gonna point it down, change the color, and we change the alert condition. In this case, it's not the um, CCI crossing from below on the uh, yellow line, it's uh, crossing from above on the orange line. So we change this from above on four. And right now you see those nice arrows popping up. Okay, that's basically what I wanted to show you. Get a study, use an alert condition to show you some visual aspect. You can now hide the CCI. You don't need it anymore because you already translated what you want to see in, in an indicator right here. All right, I'll leave you to it. Thank you for your attention. Uh, grab the ebook. Let me know if you have questions and I'll make a few more of these clips in the future. Thank you. Bye-bye.